Hello everyone and welcome back to Scott's Honest Reviews. So today we are reviewing some Halloween cookie cutters. So let's get unboxing and show you guys what you get. And as you can see, we already got our cookie dough made and ready to go. Oh wow, you get a lot. So we might have to do some more cookie dough because they supply, you get a ton of different cookie cutters. So it looks like we got a ghost. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead, kind of work it loose here and slowly pull up on it so it doesn't break its full mold. So as you can see, there we go. We're gonna lay our, this part, the top part, we're gonna lay it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray another pan. All right, up next, it looks like we got skull and uh, bone. So you always use the thinner side to press down. So you press down and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. That helps loosen it up. And then we go ahead and we pull this up a little bit. And now what we'll do is get a knife and peel away at it. And now we're gonna go ahead and pull this up. You gotta be careful and you wanna use a non-stick parchment paper. Now we're gonna turn it on its side So far, I'm loving these cookie cutters. They are awesome. All right, up next, we got a bat. Well, that worked out good. So what, what you do here, you just simply press down as you go. If it gets stuck inside, And then you turn it over and that's what's gonna be on top inside your oven. All right, next we got, looks like a witch on a broomstick. And again, just apply pressure on each of the ends. You can take a knife or something else to push down. It's a little bit hard in the smaller grooves. There we go. And now we rotate it over here. All right, so now we go ahead and we take the dough we have here. When your cookies are done, you can add sprinkles, icing, and do all kinds of different stuff if you want to enhance. You could also add orange food coloring to your dough, that way, it would look orange, but that's up to you, whatever you guys wanna do. Up next, we're gonna do a pumpkin. And we're gonna see if we can try and lift this up here. Our pumpkin didn't turn out as good. And we got a cat. So we're gonna place the cat here.
And there we go. So just to recap, you got a witch, a cat, a pumpkin, a bat, skull and bones, and a ghost. So far, I'm loving this. It's a nice kit. They work great. Very happy with them. So far, no complaints at all. So I can't wait to see how the cookies turn out. So you can see how they look. And we're gonna go put them in the oven. So for your cookies, pretty much about 325 to 350 degrees for about nine to 12 minutes. So what I like to do is set it for 350 and then in nine minutes have the timer go off. Then look at the cookies and if they need an extra minute or two, then I go ahead and add a minute or two. So we're gonna go and make some more and then we're gonna fill our bacon sheet up and see you guys in a bit. So guys, I do have to admit something to you before we show you the cookies. I'm an amateur, and when I mean amateur, I mean beginner amateur at baking cookies. So I may or may not have made the cookies too thick, and I may or may not have ha put the cookies too close to each other. So it's okay though, the cookie cutters work great, I love them. I just need to cook, uh, bake, I should say, more often. So I need to bake more cookies more often. But, uh, well, let's just show you the ginormous cookies that uh, I made. Practice makes perfect. This is actually only the second time I've ever made cookies. I wanted to do a special for this video. While the cookies don't turn out perfect, the cookie cutters work great, and I'm going to use them and practice that way. I'm ready for Halloween. All right, guys, check them out. So while I may be a bad baker, the cookie cutters are awesome. As you guys saw, they looked great. And <laughs> so um, there's our bat. Can you see our beautiful bat? It's probably the fattest bat you've ever seen. However, the cookies are still gonna taste great um, and it's good practice makes perfect. So while this was an epic fail because of the person, AKA me baking, the cookie cutters, as you guys saw, they work great, super happy with them. I just gotta practice my baking skills. So I love the cookie cutters, they're awesome. And please keep in mind, it's not the cookie cutters fault, it's the guy who's cooking, or bacon, I should say. Hold on, everybody. All is not lost. Look at this. I am recovering them. <laughs> hey, you know, I might be an amateur, but at least I'm getting creative and solving the problem of my own issue. So, Look at that. So, we have been able to make our cookies back. After our failure, well, this one's pretty big. I don't know if we can get this or not. Look at that. So yeah, I love them, they're awesome. So imagine if you added orange food coloring, put eyes on them with icing and stuff. So yeah, they work great. I was just an amateur when I first cut them, but it worked out. Absolutely love them. Now it's time to eat them all. Oh yeah, mm, 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 mm.